In this video, we'll provide installation guidelines for fiberglass reinforced plastic panels on a modular cleanroom or cleanroom conversion. These panels are available as Class C or Fire Resistant Class A. In a modular room, the FRP panels can be installed on gypsum wallboard or existing substrate attached to a steel support frame. For cleanroom conversion, the existing wall can generally be used. Harry's installation manual lists all required tools and supplies. A team of at least three installers is needed. The initial step is to carefully measure and cut required panel sizes, keeping these guidelines in mind. First, when cutting, personnel should wear protective coveralls, eye protection, and respirators in accordance with local requirements for work with fiberglass. Second, as much as possible, cut panels at equal widths to produce an attractive finish using circular or nibbler saw. Third, any wall obstructions, including windows, air vents, and outlets, should be installed in wallboard cutouts before the FRP panels are applied. Use a router to make these cutouts in the FRP panels. Terra provides templates for standard modular cleanroom cuts, such as outlets, to aid in marking and cutting. Finally, use plastic spacers that leave gaps between panels in floor, ceiling, vents, or outlets. These gaps will be filled with a urethane seam sealant. Our team is ready to apply their pre-cut panels. Polymer adhesive was already applied with a V-notch trowel. For best results, cover the entire back side of the panel in a multi-directional pattern. Plastic spacers should be held in place with tape while the adhesive sets. This prohibits the panels from slipping during this waiting period of approximately a half a day. The gaps serve to prevent cracking if panels expand or contract under different temperature and humidity levels. Use a laminate roller to ensure a uniform solid bond and remove any air pockets. Firmly roll over all areas of each panel. Once the adhesive is set, remove the spacers and use red or green painter's tape to mask off a 2 inch area on each side of the seams. A caulking gun is recommended for seaming since the open time of the sealing container is very short. See our installation manual for a range of drying times in various environmental conditions. We recommend that a second person use a scraper to complete the smoothing of the sealant as it is applied. Corners can be seamed with a radius tool or optional coved corner pieces can be installed on wall to wall and wall to floor seams as long as the room is perfectly square and level. In this case, a filler strip is applied to provide a backing for the PVC corner pieces, which are then glued into place, leaving small gaps between corners and wall or floor panels. Finally, seam sealant is applied as shown to fill the gaps and create a continuous seam surface. Don't forget to apply seam treatment around all fixtures, including air vents, utility hookups, window frames, and outlets apply seam sealant to any additional cracks in doors, windows, or other seams inside the room. Silicon caulking can be used around ceiling panels if required. This process results in a completely sealed clean room that meets ISO cleanliness standards and is easy to wipe down and sterilize. For more information on Terra Clean Room products, visit our website or call to consult with a Terra Clean Room specialist.